Good afternoon. Welcome to the Temple Israel daily video clergy check-in for today, Monday, April 27th. This evening, Monday evening, marks the beginning of the special holiday of Yom HaZikaron. It is Israel's Memorial Day. And Memorial Day in Israel has, I think, a little different meaning than Memorial Day here in the United States. Its origins, its purposes is quite similar, but it really feels different for a much newer nation, for a nation where everyone in the entire country knows someone who lost their lives in defense of the state of Israel. One of the other unique things about it is that it is tied very directly, Yom HaZikaron, this Memorial Day, with Yom HaAtzma'ut, Israel's Independence Day. There are two separate uh, days in the United States, Memorial Day happening in May and Independence Day not happening until July 4th. In Israel, the second that Yom HaZikaron, the Memorial Day, ends, Yom HaAtzma'ut, the celebration of Israel's founding of Israel's independence, begins. So there's this very powerful, strong connection between those who died uh, in defense of Israel and celebrating Israel's existence and Israel's freedom. At 8 p.m. on Monday evening, so it already happened in Israel because they're seven hours ahead of us, but at 8 p.m., the entire country stops. A siren is blasted throughout the entire country. And whether you are at work or at home, as most of us are, or driving your car, wherever you might be, even in the middle of a highway, when that siren goes off, the entire nation stops. People get out of their cars, they stand, and they observe two minutes of silence remembering those who have lost their lives. It's really a such a powerful and special moment that the entire nation does this, that it doesn't just happen, but they create it, that every person in the country helps to make this happen. So uh, I want all of us just to recognize um, that it is Yom HaZikaron beginning this evening, so we can recognize this important day of Israel's Memorial Day. But I think it's especially important because we are stuck at home also and so kind of insular. I talked a little bit in my last check-in about the Omer and we have a strange idea of time right now. We might not know what day it is or, you know, the passing of time is just is strange right now. And so uh, how better to make sure that we can take account of that time than to remember those who have died and to take full two minutes of silence which, believe me, will feel like a long time when we do it, a full two minutes of silence. So if you want to do that at 8 p.m. tonight, uh, I recommend it. Uh, but I want to end you with this prayer as well. We have two memorial prayers. We all know the, the mourner's Kaddish that we say to help us remember those who have died. But really, the memorial prayer is El Male Rachamim, a prayer that we say when one has died. And we say at these times of Yizkor, of of memory, of memorial, and there's a special El Male Rachamim for Yom Hazikaron for Israel's Memorial Day. So I'll first read you the English, and then I will chant the Hebrew. Fully compassionate God on high, to the souls of those among our people who bravely gave their lives for the redemption of our land, grant clear and certain rest with you in the lofty heights of the sacred and pure, whose brightness shines like the very glow of heaven. Source of mercy, forever enfold them in the embrace of your wings, secure their souls in eternity. Adonai, they are yours, they will rest in peace. Amen. El malerachamim shochen bamromim hamtzei menuchan chona 
תחת כנפי השכינה. במעלות קירושים וטהרים, כזוהר הרקיע מזהירים. לנשמות כל גיבורי עמנו, שמסרו נפשם עגולת ארצנו. אנא בעל הרחמים, הסתירם בצל כנפיך לעולמים, ויצרור בצרור החיים את נשמתם. אדוני הוא נחלתם, וינוחו בשלום על משכבם, ונאמר אמן. May their memories be for a blessing. Amen.